What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is a video on the KitKat update for the Sprint Note 3. Before I go into installing this update, which as you can see it says software update, I want to kind of explain how my morning has gone so far. So I got a couple comments on my videos, I got a couple mentions on Twitter, everybody was like the update is out for the Sprint Note 3 and I'm like okay cool. I had uh, downloaded the MJ4 TAR that you use with Odin, that Sam Mobile, uh, Sam Firmware, whatever they posted. So I went into download mode, I flashed Odin, my system is 100% stock. I did trip Nox when I rooted it a couple months ago or installed Cyanjamod. I had Cyanjamod on this device up until this morning. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my Instagram post where I had the unified build that I talked about in my last video on my phone. So now if I go to my settings and I go to about device, you'll see that I am on MJ4 baseband and I'm on MJ4 build. I did trip Nox. Nox is 0x1, meaning I tripped it. It's an e-fuse that you cannot reset once you trip it. So, I mean, I already tripped Nox. So whenever I apply this update, I'm going to use CF Auto Root and I'm going to root it all over again. So I, I don't care. I've already tripped Nox. My warranty's gone. So I went back to 100% stock. I will have a link to the tar that I use in the description below and you'll just be able to download it and flash it with Odin 307. I have videos on how to flash the Galaxy S3 with Odin and it's the same exact method. You'll just go to PDA, you'll put the uh, tar in there, the big one gig or whatever, how many gigs vial it is, and you'll flash it. Um, you'll need to go into stock recovery and do a uh, reset, otherwise it won't boot up. But uh, anyway, so that's where we are today. It says it's downloading an update, so if I go to system update and I go to um, update, it says it's downloading the file right now. Okay, cool. So I will let this finish and I'll be back. I mean, this started downloading the moment I flashed my Note 3 back to stock. So that's pretty cool. All right, so after waiting what felt like an hour, it probably took 45 minutes because uh, their servers were getting hit hard. My internet was not being slow by any means surprisingly so it says the firmware downloaded it was 503 megabytes uh 5361 now if i'm able to acquire a zip that you can just download put on your external sd card that's in your phone and go in stock recovery and apply it um, via external storage i will do that because it shouldn't take so long as you can see the upgrade includes 4.4.2 uh, camera shortcut, improved user interface, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and hit install. Device will be rebooted. And we're going to see, you know, the update, how long it takes. And we're going to show you what it looks like after it's done. And then go from there. So it gives us a nice little percentage at the bottom. It says 10%, 11, 12, which is actually going pretty fast. I'm impressed. All right, when you get to this screen right here, you are pretty much on KitKat. It's just optimizing the applications to, um, you, you'll see the screen anytime you upgrade your Sanja mod or you flash a newer build of a ROM over your current ROM. It's, this is just a screen letting you know that your phone's being updated. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that like this smears, that's pretty cool. And then you unlock it. And if you also noticed, um, the little camera button or camera thing down here was a little different too. So I'm going to go ahead and OK. It's inserted. Uh, in here, I don't know if there will be anything new or different. Looks like it's all the same. It's finalizing Android update. So that's pretty good. Uh, update successful. And then we're going to go back and we're going to go to the settings here and just, you know, look around. So. I like to have my photos widescreen, so when I put them in a video, it doesn't um, have black bars on the sides, and pretty much everything these days are widescreen, so that's come, that's standard. This is annoying, I, I hate this, Sprint ID, you can, you can go to the task manager here, and you can go to 
Oh, it's not showing up there. It was Sprint ID before, and I just pressed the end button. So, um... I don't notice anything different right there. What you'll notice is that your icons at the top are like a white color. You can see that right there better. It's just, it's white. It's really cool. It matches KitKat. So, I don't know what else to say about the status bar. For your quick toggles, those are all the normal the same. These are the same. So, you know, of course, TouchWiz, they had to incorporate that. And <laughs> that's just how it is. All right, so we'll play around with it just a little bit longer before we end the video. I can't spot anything that just screams brand new. We will go to About Phone. Oh, my bad. <laughs> um, where's, where's About Vote? About Device. So we are on NAB, and we are on Build NAB. So, yeah. And if you want to turn developer options, you'll just keep tapping on the build number. And then when you go back, you'll see this new option here called developer options. You'll enable USB debugging and then you'll press OK. So it's that simple. But um, yeah, <laughs> application, default applications. So home, this is cool. We have TouchWiz Home and Easy Home. So you can set those. And then for messages, you could choose whether you want it to be Hangouts which I don't like, or the stock messaging app, or if you have like Handsent SMS, which is a messenger you should check out. I use Google Voice, so I don't even use any of those at all. Um, controls, S Pin. Uh, let's see if that's a little bit different or if that's the same. Looks like it's all the same. Device, LED indicator, font, blocking, connections. So let's go ahead and go to about device here. And if we keep tapping on 4.4.2, you will see that we are on KitKat with our Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on Sprint's network, the worst network in the world. And yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to let you know um, that the baseband is in a B, the build is in a B. So you cannot go back to 4.3 if you update to 4.4. You are, you're giving, like you can't go back. This device came with Knox when I first got it. I tripped Knox to install CyanogenMod and I flashed back to stock using Odin. I flashed an MJ4 TAR with Odin, like I said, and then I updated to NAB. So you cannot go back to 4.3, you just can't. And since I already tripped Knox, I'm gonna go hook this up to my computer right now and run CF Auto Root. On the forums, they are confirming that, it, in fact, you can use CF Auto Root to root your Galaxy Note 3. If you want a tutorial on how to root your Note 3 with uh, CF Auto Root, go on YouTube and search www.joshdew easiest way to root the Galaxy S4. I will link to it in the description below. The only thing different you'll need to do is when you Google CF Auto Root, look for the SM900 right here. Um, it's just one thing for all the different variants of the uh, uh, Note 3, I believe at the time. But um, that's, how, that's how you'll root your Note. It's the same exact tutorial process in my S4, th the easiest way to root the S4 video that I have on my channel but you'll want to download the CF Auto Root that's meant for your device. So when you're flashing the TAR, you'll want to make sure it has like N900 in it instead of L720. It's the same exact process you can follow along with the video. Just make sure the only thing you're doing different is you're downloading the CF Auto Root meant for the Note 3 and you're flashing the TAR meant for the Note 3. Then you'll be rooted. I will go do that right now and I'll end the video. Okay, so the audio here was just completely terrible and unusable. But basically, some people were commenting saying that it was working for them. Some people are saying that theirs was saying recovery, booting recovery over and over and over again, but wouldn't actually boot up all the way. What I ended up doing was using a USB jig that I got from my Galaxy S3. I pulled the battery out, put it back in, plugged in the USB jig, it put it into download mode, which all you got to do is hold volume down, home, and power to do that. Once it put it into download mode, then I held the power button down for 10 seconds. Whenever it shut down, I held the volume down, the home button and the power button until it said, do you want to press up to go into download mode or do you want to press down to cancel and restart your phone? When I pressed volume down to cancel and restart my phone, 
it booted up into Android just fine, and it said that it failed to do it. It was supposed to put it in some little custom thing that Shanefire came up with, but it didn't. And I'm sure that in time, all it's going to take is a simple little update and it will work just fine. And that's going to be the easiest method to use to root your Note 3. All right, so I didn't have any luck with CF Auto Root, as you saw. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you put the update.zip on your external storage, there's an option right there. It says apply update from external storage. You would just press that. It would look for the update and you would select it and you would apply it. And then you wouldn't have to wait for your you know, Samsung servers to uh, finish downloading it. Because if I find the zip, I will host it on a different site that will let you download it really, really, really fast. So if CF Auto Root updates and you're able to root your Note 3 just fine, I will update the description. So in the description, there's a little thing that says show more. Please click that to expand it and see all of the links. If you don't expand it, you will not see the link to uh, rooting your Note 3, so I highly recommend pressing expand description. If you're on a mobile device, you'll probably have to click on the description itself to expand it. And yeah, I will keep everyone up to date on rooting the Note 3 with KitKat in the description of this video, so make sure you check it out. And um, yeah, so at this time we're not rooted. We're waiting on CF Auto Root to update, like I said. That's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. It would let me know that you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. And it helps the channel out more than you probably know. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I tweet every time I'm working on a video. And whenever I upload a new video, it posts to Twitter automatically that I uploaded a new video. And more than likely, you'll see that tweet before you can go to YouTube.com and see that I uploaded a video. So please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, shout out to all of these people right here, C-P-I-N-E-L-L-I, -L -L -I, 1980, Pizza Manzane, uh, R-T-E-P-R-A-X-I-S, all these people right here, shout out to you guys, thank you for following me on Instagram, and I encourage you to do so, and as you can see right here from this picture, I was on CM11 as of this morning, so that MJ4 tar works. Again, don't flash the MJ4 tar unless you're on MJ4 or below. If you're on KitKat, more than likely it'll break your device because you can't downgrade bootloaders most of the time because they don't want you to get rid of Nox or root without them knowing you rooted and etc. So very, very tricky stuff. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I have a gaming channel where I uploaded a Titanfall, uh, first impressions Titanfall gameplay thing, first day I did it. And I also have a second channel where I upload quick behind the scenes videos. So links to everything will be in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.